Hi all, I thought I'd shoot a quick video today to talk about uh, bowling pins specifically. Is it possible to break a bowling pin? And if so, why do they break and how do they break? So the million dollar question is, is it possible to break a bowling pin? The answer to that is yes. Why is it possible to break a bowling pin? The answer to that is because most bowling pins are made out of wood and wood can be broken. How do you break a bowling pin? Well, to understand how a bowling pin breaks, you have to understand how wood breaks. So a little education about wood is necessary. Bowling pins are made out of wood called maple, same as the workbench here, which is a hard, durable wood able to withstand a lot of abuse. This piece of wood here is a piece of construction grade fir. It's a soft wood um, used for constructing houses and things like that. But what I'm going to tell you about wood is applicable to any kind of wood. All wood has a grain to it. Wood is made up of several long fibers, in this case running vertically. They're held together with a natural adhesive called lignin. If you wanted to cut a piece of wood going across the grain, it's necessary to sever those fibers. So that's why we have things like saws. They're able to cut through the fibers. But if you wanted to cut the wood this way, you can actually split a piece of wood by simply hitting it hard enough. Let me give you an example. Here's that same piece of wood I just showed you. I'm going to put it in my vise. And I'm going to use a woodworking chisel, which is just a heavy sharp blade, to see if I can cut the wood going across the fibers. Put the chisel on there, one sharp tap. And all you see it's done is it's only cut the fibers on the very surface of the wood. Now let's see what happens if we do the same thing, but we turn the wood this direction. Take the same chisel, same mallet, but now I'm going with the grain of the wood. And as you can see, we've, we've split the fibers of the wood. We simply pried them apart. And that's what happens with bowling pins. The fibers uh, split apart inside and it develops cracks in the wood. So if we know that a bowling pin can be broken internally, how do you tell when a bowling pin is broken? Well, you're not going to be able to tell by looking at it. The bowling pin itself is covered in a heavy-duty plastic. Um, the one that AMF uses in these pins is called Serlin. It uh, can take a lot of abuse, and while you see some scuff marks from, uh, from abuse over the years, you can't tell if this pin is broken. The only way you can tell is by listening to the pin when it gets hit. So how do you tell when the bowling pin is broken when the plastic coating on the outside is intact? Well, it's done by sound. A pin that's intact um, has a nice clean ring to it, whereas a pin that has a crack inside of it will have a dull thud. Here's a good pin. Hear that nice clean ring? Here's a broken pin. Hear how it's dull? That's how you can tell if this pin is broken and this pin is not. So why don't we cut open the broken pin, take a look and see what the damage is like. Well, much like the USB-C itself, this pin is broken beyond repair. Well, here we are with the Serlin cover removed. Um, never mind these lines, these are from my angle grinder here. What we want to look at is the bottom of the pin, and right here we see the damage. This is where the crack started. The wood split, and the cracks went all the way down the side of the pin here, and on the other side, and you can see cracks along here where the, the layers of wood are starting to delaminate from each other. This bottom part here is actually wood, even though it's dark, it's absorbed oil over the course of time. And this protective ring that fits on here, it helps prevent cracks from starting here, but it doesn't do anything for the cracks up here. So this is the pin, it's firewood now. So if you learned anything from the video or you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and have a